OK. I'm finishing the setup and send some message in the social media here. And uh, well, I will start the migration of the blog. R right now, we are running the blog in the Gorli at testnet, and I will move to Mordor testnet. It's an, uh, an Ethereum Classic testnet. And I'll try to show how the migration could happen. And it's very easy. In the video, I think in 15, 20, 30 minutes maximum, I'll finish that. So uh, that's the thing. Let me sh share my screen. And uh, here. First thing that I would do is change here. So the, the blog is on this uh, address, adios.crypto, and I created a bridge using the DNS, uh, a traditional centralized DNS to, to regular people who can't access or they don't have the unstoppable 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 plugin installed in the on his browser here I'm, I'm using the um, brave browser then you can you can find the the, the website with adios.com as well but if you want to go decentralized you you can use the adios.crypto the thing is right now the blog is using ipfs and uh, blockchain for blockchain it's storing all, all the links where the pointing to the to the contents on ipfs and it's a dynamic uh, website and you can find the the posts and the articles here and in the end of each article it's a template you can find the um, other articles very easy, very fast, and unstoppable, uncensorable, sensor-proof, and distributed blog. Uh, the first thing we need to do right now is publishing the, the smart contracts. So he, I am here on this side. On the, let me do this. I don't need this and this as well. So for publishing. I will use, uh, we are using uh, uh, Open Zeppelin, and in the Open Zeppelin, you can do a new configuration here for Mordor. I'm using Ether Cluster APIs, the RPC here, and the provider, the wallet, I have the secrets.json. It's uh, a file where uh, we will list our seed. And even if you are using the Infura, you can put the project ID over there. But we are we are moving to Mordor, so we will use Ether Cluster. Ether Cluster RPCs provided by um, by Ethereum Classic. That's the uh, ETC Cooperative. They built a website with all the RPCs available. So here, using Open Zeppelin, we will just launch. Oh, ten. Okay, now we can launch the smart contract. That's the bot register hash, hash to murder. We don't need to initialize right now, and it's creating. So it's launching the the smart contract. seconds when it receives the confirmation you get that address and publish perfect so now i have the the address of the new new smart contract to launch it now i'll start the migration i firstly i have some articles already published on gorley i will instead of publishing every single thing using the IPFS uploader, I will uh, I will move from a smart contract to the other smart contract, and we can publish something after. So for, for reading the information on the old smart contracts, very easy. We use call here, Gorley. 
let's get the last smart contract let's get the post number one okay that's the information about the post the ipfs hash the title and the description that's the information we need to move the, to the new smart contract let me open a new tab new shell over here and um, and uh, the send transaction okay so what i'll do over here is copying and pasting information from one to the another so here the pfs hash murder the last smart contract register hash zero the hash the title and the description i need to do that a few times and true because it's visible i need to do that a few times just to move from one smart contract to the to the another Here we had some error. Oh, probably I didn't initialize the sentish TX. Let me initialize this smart contract first. My bad. Version three. Okay. Now let me try again. Well, without initializing the smart contract, uh, the owner of this, the, the smart contract was not me. So I moved the, the ownership to myself, to my address. Now I can publish the information over there. When I use zero, Zero is incremental. I can use the number of the posts I want to introduce or change or update, or zero for incrementing. So it will get automatically the last, uh, you increase the last number and publish a new one. Let me get again the hash. Here and Here. If everything goes well, now it will register the the first post. A few seconds. Yeah, doing doing a live presentation is not easy because for if we, for, we forget something. You know, it's a live presentation and everything can go wrong. But well, it's registered. And the first the first post is okay. Let's get the second one. Some garlic. Let's get the post number two. For sure you can you can do a, a, a script for doing this transition. But I'm doing by myself here, and uh, no problem at all. Let's take just some seconds. Order one. Let's move open prescription and the description. Uh, this is the second. I'll move just the, the the first three articles. Then we'll see if it's published and if it's working. Okay, and let's do the same with the third one. Morley. Let's 
at the post number three as the kickoff. the description. A few seconds and let's see if it's okay. Okay, register it. Just change the screen to see if there's some messages here. Because if it is answer people good so let me get the smart contract address right now and let's see if it's working with the three first posts so this is the smart contract address we will update this address in three, three pieces of software here, in three scripts. First, the GX log here. Here in the IPFS loader. Instead of gold, I'll change here, the, then I will change this variable to order after the account is the same and the next one is the here okay what to do right now go into the Yes, let's start with the IPFS uploader. Let's upload this. Okay. Yes, it's working. It published the first three documents here. So it's working. We can push the next documents using the, the blog post, the, the uploader, or we can move the rest doing the same, the same thing we were doing. I think it's faster doing it over here. So let's get the post number four. Well, that was in the wrong smart contract. They are on Gorley. Yeah. And let's move to Mordor. Title and yeah. so the migration it's reading the correct smart contract, it's good to know. And the next thing I'll do. Okay, the post number four. Let me update this thing to see. Yes, here it is. Well, what's happening over here? There's no address of the template. I didn't publish the template yet on Mordor. So I need to publish the MD reader, 
that's the, the next thing I'll do. Update the address in the smart contract, then it will be able to read the information uh, from the smart contract and, pub and show the article. So we can do that right now. Let's publish instead of this MD reader. Let's unpin and remove. Now I will upload the MD reader. Yeah. Okay. So here is the new MD reader. Um, pointing to, to Ethereum Classic Mordor testnet. I will get this hash, the hash of this guy, and update the smart contract with that, that hash. Then when we come back to the uploader, it will be updated and we will show the, the post. What you do over here is set template. When I go back to the uploader, let's try again. And here it is. It's published. Perfect. Let me publish the rest of the articles. So it was the fourth. I can call publish the fifth. Upgradable smart contracts. Here it is. Description and so you can't run uh, in two wi different windows this the same thing. So oh okay, just for sure now I can. Let's get the post number six. Hash model. I think this is a very, very important post. Must be there forever. Description. And the last one, the last one is the seven. Oh, didn't finish yet. Let's wait for some seconds. Done. Let's call again. the award from Cointelegraph and they chose me as the they think I'm an important person I, I don't think it is but the community rewarded me with this position thank you to the community
Okay. So let's see here. Perfect. And probably forgot something. There are no everything is here right now. That's perfect. Let's just check. All the things are here. Sometimes it loads in uh, an unsorted way. That's because it's a synchronous and it goes to the to the smart contract, re retrieves everything, and build the. Yeah, so one, two, three. All the posts are right here. So they are loading from Ethereum Classic smart contract it's, uh, it's moved the template is running on ethereum classic as well now i'll just move the adios.crypto website to the position it will take some time more because i need to publish on uh, uh, the address i need to publish on unstoppable domains i need to get the ledger my ledger wallet and and do the thing over there but let, let's try to do that together. It will take some time, but we'll do. Perfect. It's working. And um, oh, I, I, I could use this, uh, this function to, to move the template to the new template. The content is OK. Let's publish the last part. Let me unpin remove and add the new folder here let's see if it's working website's okay Okay, it didn't load. Let's discover what happened over here. Hmm. Well, it's easy to understand what happened. And um, here in the web, in the blog, we are using Infura. And I need to move from Infura address to the address of your network JS. So let's change from that to this. Yeah. Probably in the wrong place here and here. So that's the address. That's the thing. Because the rest running from a, I need to publish again the this guy probably yeah. so let's remove you again let's publish the new folder pointing to the correct network the correct network right now and then as I change the view let me publish you again and change your address 
smart contract place here. I'm using Martyr, that's perfect. Confirm. So this time, instead of using uh, the smart contract through Open Zeppelin, I'm using the, the, the front end for doing the same. Easier, for sure. And for humans. If something goes wrong over here, then I will use the smart contract. Publish it. That's okay. We can check if the hash is published, it's correct published. When I update this place, this first part of the hash is the template. So when, when I refresh the, the previous screen, it will need to change this hash from dbx to the new one. Let's see, let's refresh. What is this upgradable here? Let's get the same one. Here is the, the address of the template, and here is the hash of the post, the, the, the article. So it's changed to the correct one, and it's good. Oh, oops, here. It's good. It's running the new one. Now, the last thing I need to do is updating the address of adios.crypto on unstoppable domains. But for that, I, I forgot I need to use the, the it's a token, a decentralized thing, and it is stored on my ledger wallet. So I need to use the, this guy. I, I, I just forgot, uh, I need to unlock the wallet, but it's okay. And uh, let's go to unstoppable domains. Let's manage and web three. And to change here to wallet. Let's we need to change the network because it's on main Ethereum network and it's the ledger. Here it is. How to rework. Show my domains, edios.crypto and originalmy.crypto. They are stored on my ledger. And let's change this guy. Come on, website. So perfect. Perfect. So this is the actual address of edios.crypto. When you go to adios.crypto, here it is, and then um, that's the same. So we need to change from this to the new one. The new one is ending on MGMCV. Let's copy this hash. Let's update the website inside the token, in, inside the domain, adios.crypto domain. That's the only thing I need to do. Save changes.
here let's change to don't need to be so fast it's working that's slow I don't pay a lot of fees okay why it's not clicking Come on. There's something very wrong with Brave Browser right now. Why are not letting me change configuring? If I send with one, one cent, it will never be registered. I don't know why, but there's something wrong here. Insufficient balance. Okay. Probably the network is no balance. Ah, okay. I have just 41 cents over there, and uh, that that's okay. I understood all the problem. But there's no problem. Let's solve this. Instead of using this, we can send it less than... That is everything. For one cent. Okay, that's okay. Now I can confirm, send the transaction, and wait. Now my ledger will appear. And I need to approve 12 times the ledger. It takes a lot of time approving things over here. Field 5, field 6, field 7, field 8, field 9, and 10. With a lot of parameters, parameters here. Proof, review transaction. So it's sending the transaction to the correct place. I, I, I remember the address of my smart contract over there with my token. And send. OK. The transaction was sent. Now I need just to wait. So probably in a few hours, because of the price, I sent a very low gas. I'm paying a very low gas right now. It will take some time, probably more than 20, 30 minutes, but no problem at all. When it updates, this the website will be updated and adios.crypto will answer to the correct address. That's the only thing we need to wait. And until there, the website is working yet on... Um, Garlic. The previous address. And I don't know what, what's wrong because it's, it has sent the transaction. Probably it will need to wait. Well, if you like this live, just uh, subscribe. I'll try to do it more often. And we are launching the adios.crypto channel on YouTube and other channels. 
I'll try to bring more content like this. Let me change here. So everything is working right now. The website's published. The next thing I'll try to do is using uh, Pinata Cloud to ping the website, the, the IPFS. So I can pin the website in more places and distribute more the content. And with that, I, I will be sure if my computer is turned off or the server, the IPFS server I'm using is turned off, the content will be published because it's distributed. And each time anyone is pinning or accessing it, it will distribute more the content and it will be impossible to remove this kind of content from the internet because it's di distributed, it's decentralized, and it's totally 100% sensor proof. So, subscribe. I will try to, I will try, no, I will publish more often. And thank you, thank you for watching. Bye bye.